Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general love reading for my friends Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus for March 2021. As always, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a Celtic cross. Let's see what we can get for you, Cancer, March 2021. We are ready. So, current, situ current situation, yes, if I can speak, the Hierophant, challenge the lovers. Well, crowning energy, the tower, three major arcanas, judgment, here we go, four, core of the situation, two of wands, past energies, future energies, ten of swords, approach to the situation, ten of pentacles, energies around you, knight of wands, hopes and fears, Three of Cups, possible outcome, Four of Swords, quite a, quite a spread. Strength Energy, another Major Arcana. The Chariot, bottom of it, Nine of Cups. Guys, this is uh, quite, a, quite a reading. I will try to uh, be as clear as I can because I feel that there are at least two scenarios here. One is about a partnership, tested by um, an influence that comes from outside of the connection. And this can be a tricky one because of the tower, because of the Ten of Swords, because of the Knight of Wands and the Three of Cups. But on the other hand, on the other hand, the on the other hand, some some of you may be outside of a connection, and it's it's not exactly the opportunity that can turn out in your favor. So, it's the same scenario, but two different angles. One is within the partnership and the other one is outside. All right, Hierophant Energy, current situation, guys about partnerships, even marriages. The Hierophant is about lessons, we can agree. Connections that are built on solid foundations, there is structure involved. So if you are together with your person, let's say, your committed partnership has been or still is tested by an outsider, allow me to say, that can be the cause of the heart over head decision that we can find within the lovers. So your connection is on a hierophant level. The choice with the lovers is about what our heart may desire for us to do. Soulmate energy, we can agree. Soul to soul connection, all good. Um, a meaningful bond passion, desire, love, um, super attraction. If you are together, you will have to try to figure out if you can protect the partnership by embracing a major decision despite what may be the 
challenge that comes from the outsider. The outsider is here, guys. This Knight of Wands. It doesn't mean that... <laughs> It doesn't mean that if you are outside of a connection, you are a uh, um, player energy that deserves all the blame, just to be clear. But we are talking about energies, you know, and I am trying my best to explain uh, what the feeling is about. Crowning energy, the tower, is the crumbling down of something. This can be the fear for those of you in partnership to see the connection crumbling down because of the outsider modus operandi the judgment is the moment of truth this is a divine truth that comes to those that are open to receive it it can be the realization that something is uh, playing out and we need to understand what uh, we want to do about it for those of you in partnerships, this can be the evaluation of the second chance. And I will address immediately the Ten of Swords. In this case, if the second chance is embraced, this is the ending for the interaction with the outsider, the Ten of Swords. The Two of Wands is a decision, soulful decision for me. It goes along with the lovers. We see it in the past energies. All right, but this is a flow. Uh, it's a work in progress. It's the decision to protect the partnership and it needs to be a shared decision. The two persons need to be all in together. Otherwise, as I usually say, reconciliation, it is, it's just a label without effort and uh, willingness to work things out it's just a word if you can work things out within your partnership you can see a ten of swords type of energy unfolding about the outsider but this can even cause a little bit of struggles within the partnership because this is a rough energy I will not make circles about the ten of swords it's a disappointment something didn't go as we expected it to go but possibly we can work things out so I will stop here a moment this is the scenario where some of you are together and there is an outsider I'll, I will come back for those of you that are outside of a connection but you have an interest feelings love for a person that is committed elsewhere the Hierophant is still valid the choice is for them and a little bit for you uh, with the lovers heart over head decision what are we going to do the tower is the crumbling down of the connection with the person involved in the partnership in the committed hierophant energy because they may they may decide to stay in the Hierophant with their person. The judgment is a final call. Some of you may offer an out-out. It's the lovers, the judgment in the core of the situation, the two of ones are linked despite the position. It's a realization about the necessity for a decision, a soulful one, where do we want to go? It's in alignment with heart and soul. The Ten of Swords is the ending of the connection. Because there is a Ten of Pentacles involved and you are on the outside in this second scenario. This is a challenge to say uh, the least about this reading. So, this was the second scenario. Approach to the situation, guys. If you are together, there is a Ten of Pentacles in your favor. And so the decision is based on the fact that Hierophant Ten of Pentacles can be a marriage. And despite the destruction that can come from the outside, you can uh, evaluate with your partner, with your husband, with your wife, depending on the scenario, that you want to protect the commitment, despite what may have happened. 
that's why we see strength energy chariot energy nine of cups you can power through a challenging situation kind of avoiding the tower in some sense because there is a final call that can be let's try again together and you can power through in this scenario energies around you allow me to say the knight of wands is the outsider they may have approached they may have tried to um, interact with some of your person or some of you why not i mean let's be open to the scenarios uh, because it's part of life but this knight will get um will get a no as an answer because the three of cups in the hopes and fears is about oh my goodness uh we are too many in this scenario plain and simple uh so no celebration in this case allow me to say uh, the fear and the hope the fear and the hope go along because the hope is to avoid a third party scenario the fear is oh my goodness there is a, a third person and the healing that takes place in the possible outcome in this scenario is all about the fact that we need to cut communication with the outsider so this will be directed towards some of your person uh, let's say and the connection can be healed by embracing the strength energy the chariot which is a movement forward towards success and the nine of cups which is a uh, wish granted energy five of wands bottom of the nine of cups is about competition too many people involved confusion for me it's a noisy and, and annoying energy kind of going with the alicia keys song people keep, keep talking they can say what they like so this was one scenario. I will recap, guys. I will try. If you are outside, so basically you are the outsider. Um, some of your persons are involved, committed in a situation that um, does not allow them to um, move and possibly they may have to embrace a decision to stay where they are. The Ten of Swords will end the connection between some of them and some of you because there is a family ten of pentacles energy going along for them in the second scenario the knight of wands energies around you uh, guys i will not sugarcoat this energy because if you are outside you are playing this role uh, without any judgment from me but you can be perceived from someone inside of the partnership as the outsider that can cause uh, unbalanced interactions and basically this is a mirror this reading super challenging but it is what it is um, is a mirror and we are we are looking at the same scenario from uh, two opposite points of view the hopes and fears same thing as before there are three persons involved those that are together will say oh my goodness there is a third person the one outside will say what if my person breaks free from the situation that they were in this is a this is a tricky situation the silence will will be about the fact that the ten of swords manifests we cannot do anything and allow me to say in this second scenario strength energy chariot is about holding back moving away embracing the chariot moving forward we see the nine of cups which can be the opportunity to hopefully uh, find a scenario a connection that uh, with everyone free can be more um, easy to manifest guys i think that this is one of the most challenging reading <laughs> that I can recall at the moment because there are so many so many angles and it depends on where you are basically if you are together you can be successful in the protection of your connection guys the healing can be about the disappointment that can be related to the fact that someone from the outside may have tried to seduce in some way some of your persons or some of you 
and you will decide to power through the challenge healing the connection with your partner because there is there is a heavy commitment here higher of energy um, ten of pentacles and the heart overhead decision will be about the protection of uh, of the nest allow me to say to make my point clear on the other hand some of you are outside from a structured and established partnership and in this case the energies are not in favor of the fact that the person committed will break free because the tower is about the crumbling down of something that was lacking solid foundations and if there is no freedom to be with a person the tower uh, gains momentum the ten of swords is a disappointment i was counting on a particular outcome but it was not possible it's still uh, valid the point about the ten of swords for me once everything has been said and done there is clarity and the sun will rise up again new opportunities will come in favor of those that were called to power through strength energy bravery we bounce back we um, overcome the challenges chariot energy movement forward toward toward success nine of cups which granted despite the confusion and bottom of the confusion three of swords so a disappointment it's a tough one this one and so guys um, it is what it is if you are looking for a scenario that is about um, a third party from from within so you are in the partnership you can work things out if you are outside so basically you are the third not so sure but you can still find something different hopefully more auspicious in a in a completely different scenario let's see guys let's see where these energies are going uh, i hope that i made myself clear it was quite a quite a challenge even for me um, i hope it was helpful i'll continue on vimeo see you there if you want to join me the link is below if you resonate let us know leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best guys take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye